All right, good morning everyone. I'm gonna spare you my uh, ugly mug this morning. Um, just another reference to the question I had on, I think, vlog three regarding how big the, uh, the jewelry was due to the size of the pictures that were on the website. You know, there might be some confusion as to, you know, oh, is this thing gonna look like, uh, as I always refer to it, the Mr. T collection. Uh, showing here, this is the collection for the Lost Treasures of Albion. Uh, we got several that I've actually highlighted in my videos. Um, as you can see, it comes with a satin bag. Uh, just as a kind of a scale, this is my thumb here. Um, this one really only measures maybe an inch to an inch and a half long. Um, you know, it's a pretty big, it's a pretty piece. Uh, it is made of pewter uh, with gold accents, uh, probably painted gold. I, these are uh, these aren't any of my high-end jewelry here. But uh, like I say, each one of them comes with a satin satchel. Uh, some of them are bright, bright yellowish color. Some are more of a copper type color. Uh, moving over now, these are some of my bigger amulets, the Carpe Noctrum series. Um, I have to use my first finger as a reference here. Um, you can see there are some of the bigger, heavier pieces. Uh, they do. Uh, they're a little bit longer. Like I said, heavier. They're made of a heavier pewter. Some of them even have uh, gemstones built into them. You can see on the right there, there's some gems built into that one and to, into the pentagram dragon there. Uh, this is part of the Gal, uh, Galradia uh, collection. This right here is the Crux Cross, probably my favorite of all the, uh, of all of my uh, pendant collections, uh, including the crystal and the briar stone. Um, Anyway, this one right here is uh, another larger of the two. This one right here has many gems in there. Um, so this one tends to be a bit more expensive than the other ones. Uh, the cameos, uh, I carry a pretty good size up here. I don't carry everything up to the flea market because, quite honestly, some of the more expensive stuff just won't sell up here. I mean, that's just the way it is. You know, people come to the flea market, they expect uh, not to spend $60, $70 on an item. But uh, the cameos themselves, you can see, are about, a, about the size of my thumb. You know, I can cover it up. And then, of course, it has the accents on the outside of the, of the cameo itself. To You know, this right here is the aura wolf. So it gives you, you know, it gives you this wolf accent. Um, this right here is the kindred spirit um, with the dragon. So it puts the dragons on the outside of it. Uh, my star signs for the zodiac, they're actually really small. That's why they're the cheapest amongst my uh, collection. But it is the it is the star symbol, not the actual zodiac uh, symbol. Uh, they do come on a cord, um, and then uh, my dragon totems. They range in size now. This is my largest one. There's only four dragon totems on the website, but you can see this one right here is a, it's a really really long one. Uh, but the other ones tend to be a bit smaller. I was, I'm sorry I keep throwing fingers in there, but it's easier for me to give you all kind of a scale, you know, as to what what y'all are buying. You know around your neck uh, one collection I don't carry on my website right now are the elemental talismans uh, thinking about putting them on there I do carry them up here to the flea market um, this right here of course is earth fire water I'm out of air I sold it last week and didn't get my shipment in um, but even these amulets right here like I said you can see they're not these big ugly gaudy pieces uh, the mythic Celtic collection I think I still have, I have all but one. Um, some of these range in size from this uh, bigger dragon right here, um, all the way down to, well, this one's kind of hidden here. There we go. Anyway, it's, uh, it's more of a slender piece. Uh, still about thumb size, but it, it's more of an elongated piece. Uh, some of the children of the Knight, Knight Collection, this one, this uh, butterfly or moth, I think they call it, it's actually a moth. Um, again, it's a little bit larger compared to the through to the piece underneath it. You know, you said piece underneath it actually gets covered, whereas the moth sticks out in the corners. Um, and now the Spellbound book, I uh, hadn't put this one on the website yet either. It's a uh, it's a limited edition book by uh, Ann Stokes. You know, it's more like a folklore type piece. Um, it does contain a lot of the photos, uh, a lot of the art that uh, I'll be showing you in just a moment. It does contain 10 incantation spells, so it, um, 
but they're they're not witch spells, not going to hex anybody or anything like that. And then of course I have my my art gallery, uh, my canvas art pieces. These all measure seven and a half by ten. You have some that are in the landscape, some that are um, oh what do they call that? I guess vertical uh, position. Um, I said, oh, they're all in cellophane, so if they, you know, they're, they're protected when they show up to you, but um, that might be why it might be a little shiny to you. It's, you're not actually going to have that shiny part because uh, obviously you're going to take it out of the cellophane. But um, that's about it for today. I just wanted to kind of give you a run through, show you about the approximate size of some of the, uh, some of the jewelry that you will be purchasing if you, if you make a purchase. I don't want uh, anybody to think that there's this, uh, oops, I'm walking around showing you the truck and everything. Uh, I don't want anybody to think that they're, uh, you know, that they're just getting something that's going to be so big and heavy that they're not going to, you know, they're not going to want to wear something so big. So, as always, uh, buy if you can uh, off the website or if you're close by, you, I'm at the uh, Bargainville Flea Market in uh, Lake Park, Georgia. Uh, but buy if you can, if you can't. Uh, Please do continue to like and subscribe, excuse me, like and share. Uh, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm starting to get quite a few videos since I'm doing these vlogs daily. Uh, you can look back at older vlogs that may answer different questions for you um, or uh, give you different information about stuff. Uh, but you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's an Enigma Mystique. That's two words. Um, it should bring up you'll see a picture of one of my crystal pendants and that'll be my page but uh, everyone have a good day and we'll see you again tomorrow